All right, back off. Let's go. All right, here's the line right here, just fine. Right at the very edge. Here it is, straight across right here, 12 rounds for the championship of the world. Touch him up, good luck. Well, Donaire wanted to know how he would do against a taller fighter, a world-class taller fighter. He's about to find out, is this careful what you wish for? <laughs> or will Donaire dominate Matabula Roy as he has dominated every opponent he's faced in recent years? We shall soon find out. There's the bell to begin round number one. Scheduled for 12, Donaire against the tall and lanky Matabula. See if Matabula could stay disciplined and use that jab. Donaire jumps in and lunges with the left. Around, staying away, didn't want to engage. And there just missed with that left cross. Matapula is now back and straight up, which is not good. Well, when Donaire closes the gap, he negates the height advantage for Matapula. And that's what uh, Nemico has to do. Just get close to him and put those big punches on him. And try you know, he's... he's doing VADA, volunteer uh, testing for performance enhancers year-round, Donaire. He's, uh, he's volunteered for it. Dropping his hands in front of a taller opponent. I don't love that, Roy. He jumped in with enough respect in boxing in a hurry when you do stuff like that. Not no need to. He's good enough, I think, that he can overcome his kid just like he's doing. Good combination and a good hook to the body finished it off for Matabula. Oh, he's throwing that home run hook Donaire is. <laughs> Matabula's throwing a pretty good punch himself, though. Trade inside. He's not afraid to trade with uh, Melito. That's surprising to me. Donaire with a left hand with Matabula against the ropes. I don't love what, Ma, what what Donaire is doing there, Roy. He's really loading up on the hook, hoping to end it early, it looks like to me. I don't love it, but he survived these next two or three rounds. It seems that he gets stronger in the second half of the fight. That's when we'll start to find out what's really going to happen. But it's like you said, they go through one heck of a curling process to get to the United States and to be able to fight on American TV. That's right. If you see them on American TV, it means they can fight. Combination from Matabula. Right hand was blocked by Donaire. End of round three. Two rounds to one, no Nico Donaire. Now I gotta tell you something. This fight, you, you gotta measure how many jabs the Mongoose has to land to offset one wallop that no Nico Donaire lands and who did more damage. I, I mean, I got a round two and he threw over 100 punches. He, you know, he did more than the Mongoose. But from Matabulu's nose. Donaire has caught Matabulu. Really paid for it yet, Roy, but sometimes these guys get in those exchanges and they throw some shots, and Donaire's putting himself in unnecessary risk. Go, left hand drops Matabulu. Maybe not when you can punch like that. <laughs> Cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Come to me. Matabula's up, first down in his career. He's been down on the canvas, a left hand near the end of round four. Holy s***. Here you see the Filipino flash dip inside with a hook, wham, right over the top of Matabula's right hand. A beautiful, well-placed left hook. Once again, he blocks the shot, boom, right on the jaw, a beautiful left hook. He was right looking for that shot. Good uppercut from Donaire. Fires off a right and a left. Effective against larger fighters, and I suppose in many respects, it, ooh, good right hand from Matabula. Rangier fighter as a pressure. Oh, fight. good left hand by Donaire. And he fires. He does sneak a hard punch down the pipe every now and then. Right, right hand, hand from Donaire. Like that. Great right hand by Matabula just did. Not a bigger man in the ring to be increasingly shorter here. Left hand by Matabula touched the face of Donaire. Donaire steps back in with a power shot of his own. 
Pretty good round, the kind of fight that he's used to. You know, he's got to do a lot of work just to get in the right range. Yes, he does, but this is what he wanted. This is what he asked for. So, of course, he's not. And he's taking away most of Donaire's heavy left hooks. And his height allows him to be out of the way of the left hook a lot quicker than most people would be. So the jab goes further than the left hook would travel. And of round seven. So if he's going to win the fight, his jab is his best punch, like right there. He was throwing it and it enabled him to land. Forehead, left eye, swelling. The last round, right when he gets started, that jab makes him stop. Sometimes a bit stiff jab can neutralize. And there goes Donaire looking for a home run left hook. Got hit by about eight shots. Hey. Man putting his 122 pound belt on the line. Off and being very, very busy. But remember, at the end of round seven, Nonito Dene was complaining in his corner that his leg fell asleep. The risk of him is to get stronger late in the fight. Oh, good shot. Good uppercut. Fight close on Harold Letterman's scorecard. Going. Well, I thought Matabula won the round. <laughs> Me yeah. too. I, I think Donaire lucked out a little bit that it was a short round. He shoot sure close. Gennady Golovkin is out there at middleweight. Fight guys like that every fight. See what happens when he uses this jab. Not really throwing a punch for like the last 30 seconds. Just that right here. May have broken his nose or something. Y'all has had some big rounds, but this round, this 12th round, could determine this fight. Matabula's not even punching anymore. It's uh, bell rings. Is oh, right good hand. Shot. And Matabula is has landed some real good shots here. Left hand by Donaire to the head of Matabula. Steps in with a right. I thought uh, Lolito pulled it out in that last round. Donaire says, bring it on. Fires a couple of power shots. That's how it ends. How do the judges have it scored? Let's find out from our ring announcer, Lupe Contreras. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds here at the Home Depot Center, we go to the official scorecard. Judge Davis scores it 117 to 110. Judge Morrow, 118 to 109. And Judge Duarte scores it 119 to 108. For the winner, by way of unanimous decision, and now the unified WBO and IBF Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, the Filipino Flash. No. Donito Donaire, a unanimous decision. Now, to be honest with you, I'm surprised by the width in which he won on the judges' scorecards.